My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. Today I'm reviewing Homage Interlude Black Iris. This is 260, 400 mil. Thought it was a bergamot, rosemary, violet leaves, hard nose, auris, amber, frankincense, myrrh, vanilla. The base notes are leather, argwood, smoke. I don't know what that is. Patchouli, sandwood, and cedarwood. When I thought of argwood smoke, I thought about burning argwood into a jar and capturing the smoke and putting it into a uh, propylene glycol. That's what went through my head. It's quite literal. So I imagine it's sort of like a smoky accord thing. Anyway, <laughs> do we have our bottles of homage interlude black iris? Are we engaged with a high self? Let's get testing. I am aware I'm probably pronouncing the company wrong. Many apologies if I am. So it has that thing that um, I've reviewed, I think one fragrance. It has that thing that that's, this company has, that sort of DNA. That's what I'm noticing massively actually, that when you have a company, they build things a certain way. And I think I've got a, a philosophy in all of this. I think the way perfume is built, a fragrance fits a brain. So I think if you love, generally a company will build around the same musk and the same sort of percentages, percentages of things. I think certain types of people like that sort of, the DNA of the fragrance, if that sort of makes sense. Like you would have the ratio of Icy with Super, Hedione and Broxin within one company and it'd be different to another. And I think if you like that, you'll like the whole thing. That's sort of what I really noticed. So this sort of smells like the company. This reminds me of my Deviant actually. There's a smoky quality in this. It's quite similar actually. This has been really well done. It also reminds me of that Roja one, the fetish one. It reminds me of that. So anyway, when you are dealing with these sort of molecules, which are this sort of leathery, uh, smoky qualities in a fragrance, it's really tough, really, really taxing because these molecules, these are leathery notes and animal notes, are really, really hard to work with. I think they are the most complex things to deal with because if you have too little, you don't really get the feel. And if you have too much, it blows the whole thing out. And you've got to be very careful. It's very, very difficult to work with. I think of all the things, uh, these sort of like interesting fragrances are the most difficult ones to deal with. When you take a traditional sort of concept and you're trying to change it slightly, and this is what this is. This is clever. They're using uh, Cedol in this, and Cedol at high concentrations smells like leather and has a slight dirty quality. At low concentrations, it sort of enhances cedarwood. High concentrations, it's allergen free, doesn't really do much, but it gives a leathery feel to it. This dries down really good. It's, it's, a, it's very, very good. I'm sort of really surprised. I didn't really know what to expect with it. It doesn't suit the name really, Black Iris. So I have Iris butter and I have Iris concrete. I have all these different irises at work. And Iris I associate with really soft and buttery. This to me smells, should have a different name, but maybe the name wouldn't suit the brand. To me, this should have slightly a uh, sort of sexual name to it. It'd be really suited. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna explain why. You have on one side of it, a very hard, masculine, dirty smell. And on the other side, you have clean sweetness and then you have the base of it and you have joining materials joining the two together and it's been so skilled that you can't smell particularly anything but you're carried backwards and forwards if that sort of makes sense to you the ionones in this are really good i hate ionones but this when they're done well they they have a purpose and this is to enhance that sort of irisy feel the vanillin in this is really good and vanillin is a powder at room temperature. It can help to anchor things to the skin because of how it acts within a formulation, but it can also help to soften and smooth out something potentially very harsh. And this is what the vanillin and the wood molecules are doing, smoothing the whole formulation out. So this has been harsh, aggressive, slightly sexual, smoothness, sweetness, and then you have the musk and the joining materials going back and forth. The smokiness is an incense quality, that's what I'm picking up on. And that is the patchouli, the galak wood, and the cedar that is giving you, and the cinnamon sort of, the cinnamon sort of notes in that is giving it that sort of incense quality. 
Very interesting fragrance, actually. Um, I don't think it's going to be everyone's cup of tea. It's fucking just saying, isn't it? It's going to be suitable for specific types of people, and this really does have a purpose in the world of perfume. Not everyone wants to smell like everyone else. Some people really want individuality, and this is a really individual fragrance. I cannot imagine that people that love fresh things and those only things would like that at all. I think they would hate this actually and I think this one I would imagine this one really is gonna have I hate it or I like it there is gonna be nothing in between I can't imagine you just sort of peel up and spray it and go to work at all this one would have thought to it you have to like smoky leather cedary sort of raw materials on to my final thoughts First of all, marks of technical ability and whether it complies with the box and everything. Absolutely, it does. Technically, I think this is phenomenal because you're dealing with really hard to work with raw materials. This is difficult, complex, unique, interesting. You are working with, as I said, really difficult to work with raw materials sort of quite aggressive raw materials. Cedar is a really difficult raw material to work with and the sort of the uh, smokiness, the raw materials and then you're softening the whole thing off. So this is really, really good. Uh, uh, the second is the price. I think this is worth the price. It's about a hundred pounds for 50 mil or 200 pounds for 200 mil. Yes, I think this is absolutely worth the price. Very appropriate for what it is. Then the next one marks whether I like it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not naturally drawn to this sort of fragrance personally, but I think it's really good, if that sort of makes sense to you. I'm gonna mark it a nine out of 10. And the one mark comes off because I don't particularly like it, but I think it's really good. And I think it absolutely serves the purpose. The name doesn't really suit it. I don't really think, to be honest with you, I'd prefer a uh, sort of a fetishy name with it, I think, and a black bottle and sort of, you know, really going for like that. Uh, that to me is more suitable for it. The sort of person that would like this is someone really individual, very unique, sultry, uh, very sensual, you know, a, a slightly older person I would imagine. It's very sensual. If you're gonna work with time all actually and time and all that stuff, this is how to do it. It's out of concentration and working with the different things where it's uh, not in your face and not sort of like, uh, I don't know why, Time I'll use particularly unless you particularly want to use it as a specific purpose. But you don't really put it in something. It's, it's one of those raw materials. Excellence. I think it's an excellent fragrance, and I think it's uh, if you like it, you really like it. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. I hope you're staying safe and well. I'll see you soon.